All right, so in today's video, I wanted to do something a bit different and review some apps from the App Store. Or in particular, today, I'm just gonna be reviewing one app, and this is one I use all the time and I find completely indispensable to my workflow. But let's get started immediately. The first app I wanted to review is uh, Boosted. It's a productivity and time tracker, which uh, just keeps track of your time and it motivates you or it just keeps you keeps you on track, let's say. And it's completely free to download, although there might be some in-app purchases, but I don't find those in-app purchases really necessary. But anyway, let's just jump right into it and open the app. So as you can see here, I already have a few projects loaded such as Android app development. And uh, I've just been keeping track of my studies as I do it. it just, it's just nice to see the statistics and how much time you spent on a project. But uh, let's get started by going to projects and creating a new project. And let's call this one, uh, let's pretend we're gonna study C sharp. We're gonna say C sharp studies. And we're gonna use a blue caller and click on save. Now you'll have this new C Sharp Studies project open. And as soon as you click on start, it will start tracking your studies. And as, even if you close the app, so let's pretend you turn off your phone, it will just keep track of your studies and it's really, really neat. And uh, let's find you again, here you are. And the best part about this is essentially the statistics that you can find that come with the app. So if we go to reports, you'll see a very nice graph. I absolutely love the graphs they implemented here with a circle chart or a pie chart, I guess. And it just keeps track of everything with a very broad range of parameters and uh, time periods that you can search through. You can get uh, specified reports for each month and it gives you each time periods and the top tracked weeks. I guess one of my best weeks seems to be 18 hours from the 2nd of March to the 8th of March. But very nice statistics here. Yeah. And if you go to calendar modes, it will also keep track of when you study during the day. I get distracted very easily, as you can see here. We've got lots of gaps in my schedule. So essentially I could study for maybe 38 minutes at most before trying to go on YouTube and watch a video or eating lunch or just doing something completely different. But uh, let's go to the next part. If you click on these projects, you'll see it keeps track of each time uh, you start and stop the tracker which can be useful. Let's say, if, let's go to one of my older projects. It can just be useful for seeing when you studied and for how long you studied. Here I studied for 13 seconds, then 29 seconds, then eight seconds. Quite pathetic, but uh, at least here I studied for an hour from 14 to 15. And I believe if you click on them, you can edit them or in case, let's pretend you missed uh, a study session and you forgot to record, you can go here and you can add a new record, which is really neat. If you just write, uh, let's say, let's add one hour, and we click on set time period, it will even keep track of the time period you set that one hour for. Otherwise, you can just define your own parameters. And let's discard. And of course, there are statistics for your specific uh, projects. So let's go to one I did a lot more on as Android app development is a really big project. Here you can see I have, uh, I mean, this month I didn't do anything, but if we go to, let's say six months, you get really nice statistics, activity per day. My busiest days were on Tuesdays for some reason. And uh, yeah, I put, I guess, 150 hours into this project, which is just general app development. Every time I studied or read a book, I played uh, or started this timer. And you can also add tasks to each project. So, I mean, I don't use this option too much, but it could be useful. So you can actually track specific tasks. You can say they are completed, uh, they're not completed. But as you can see, there's so much you can do in this app. And I mean, the premium version allows you to have premium callers, which I don't care about. Timers, I don't care about that either. Automatic backups. If you delete this app, I'm happy to restart it. So of course, if you feel like you need these things, definitely support them by the premium. But otherwise, I feel like it's something that can easily be overlooked. There are no adverts yet, and that is great. It's just perfect productivity. Now let's explore the settings as the final thing. Uh, you can choose 24 hour format. You got the dark modes, you got the light modes. I prefer dark, I mean. And finally, you can change the day of the week, whatever day you feel like starting on, as long as it's Monday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm a bit upset. I can't start the week on Wednesday or Thursday. But uh, hey, I mean, 
I guess Monday, Saturday and Sunday are more popular dates to start your week on. So all in all, I would give this a pretty good rating. Definitely one of the better apps I found on the App Store. And uh, yeah, that'll be my first video on app reviews. If you like this kind of stuff, just leave a comment in the description. Or if you have any apps you'd like to recommend, I'd be more than happy to make a video about it. And uh, yeah, let's see how this goes. See you guys, 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 see you guys.